Good evening everyone, Cadet Comics here. Today I have a haul and it features a collection which I purchased and I think I paid $80 for about a short box and a half. I believe so. It's been a while. Um, but uh, as you'll see there's a lot of just filler comics. A lot of Captain America this is probably the one worth the most is Captain America 110 classic cover Starenko the interior is excellent however the exterior not so much so I'm not going to take it out of the mylar but the back page is completely crunched you'll see there's a few issues here if you're judging it just based on here maybe it's a 5-0 uh, but like I said the interior is nice probably a fine plus but, um, yeah, whatever. I think there may be some, just a little bit of uh, waviness down here. So I have a feeling there's, there's probably a little bit of water damage. But um, I think the comics probably work out to, I don't know, uh, 40 cents each. So for 40 cents, that's not bad. Not a bad investment. And these Captain America, there's so many of them, they're not in order. But uh, let's start. So Captain America 233, we have 196, 244 14, 207, 166, I always like this cover, Night of the Lurking Dead, 163, 154, 212, and 217, which I believe is the first Quasar. Or is it, and then also, um, who I believe is the same character, but is a Marvel man or Marvel kid, but Quasar. I think it lists uh, both in the description. Uh, this is actually a Marvel super action starring Captain America number six. Another Marvel super action number one. Captain America Falcon 169, 160, 161, 193. This is a Jack Kirby and uh, John Romita cover, and I thought that this was, it says King Kirby is back and greater than ever, but I thought this was the last Jack Kirby on this title, but I could be wrong, but I think I do remember reading that. But I've been wrong before, so it happens. Captain America the Falcon 197, 173, 225, 227, 221, 181, 185, 213. 203, 186, 218, 246, trying to do a somersault, 317, and then uh, king size annual number 4, 165, King size annual number three, 
162. Really cool cover, 155. The Secret Origin of Captain America. We have another Marvel Super Action 13. Captain America and the Falcon 215. 211. We have 222. And the final is 210. And then we have Marvel Double Feature number six. Whoever this was really liked Captain America, whoever owned this collection. Marvel Double Feature eight. Number two. Number 10. 14, 17, and then 21. And then we have Marvel Super Action, which I showed a few mixed in with the Captain America run. But this is number two, number three, number five, seven, eight, nine and we have 12 which looks awfully familiar and i think oh yes it is because it is a riff on this cover or homage to captain america one two and then we have marvel two and one 78 the thing and wonder man we have what if and i love these uh the, these uh what if I believe that's the first series. Well, number five, what if Captain America hadn't vanished during World War II? Submariner, we have 39. 41. 58. 64. And a little bit of everything mixed in this collection. Giant Superboy, number 174. Uh, Superboy 180. Weird War Tell. I really like these Weird War Tell covers. 57. And this was the other comic that had probably the most value. And this is Weird War Tell 64. And as most of you probably know, this is the first Frank Miller uh, at DC. And it's just a great Joe Kubert uh, cover. I think I mentioned before I was always into war comics far before I was ever into superheroes and Joe Kubert was by far my favorite artist. That's why I really liked uh, Sergeant Rock. His artwork was featured predominantly there in that series. This is the all new Fighting Marines number 111. GI Combat 163. 162. We have War Stories Combat. It's a Dell comic. Uh, I do not know the number, uh, but it's a great painted cover. We have The Losers, 133 and 143. Sergeant Fury and the Howling Commandos and his Howling Commandos, 103. We have Combat Kelly 7. G.I. War Tales, number one. War is Hell, number two, which is a really cool cover. I don't think I've ever seen this series before. It's Marvel. I'm not sure how long it lasted. Cool artwork. Sergeant Fury Special, number six. Uh, number nine. Ten. We have Fighting Army 108. A Fighting Army 110. And then my favorite, we have DC Star Spangled War Stories featuring the Unknown Soldier. And that's 158. And then 182. We have a later uh, Unknown Soldier, number 244. And those are, that's a Joe Kubert cover. 
And then we have DC, Our Army at War, featuring Sergeant Rock, is before he got his own series. And that's 239. And then we have 251, which is Joe Kubert. And this is a uh, um, 200th anniversary of Sergeant Rock. And this is number 280, another great Joe Kubert cover. And then last, but certainly not least, we have Ghost, number 15. All new Ghost Manor, number 12. Two of those. All new Ghostly Tales, number 104. Ghostly Haunt, all new, number 32. All new Ghostly Manor, Visit If You Dare, number 8. And then we have an 80 page giant Wonder Woman, spectacular. We have a Wonder Woman 196, 229. Wonder Woman 233, 246-246, 248-248, 251-251, 251-251, and 272 that concludes this video thank you all for watching if you like the content please hit that like button and i'd appreciate it if you would sub the channel as well have a nice evening thank you so much